Welcome back, Collective. I have another message for you guys. Um, let's go ahead and pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for every blessing that you've given us. Thank you for allowing our minds to grow and to increase in capacity. Thank you for allowing us to have a greater understanding for who you are and our purpose and our mission on this earth. We pray for forgiveness in every, in every area of our life where we may not be in right standing with you. We love you, Jesus. And we thank you, Father, for sacrificing your only son for us and for our sins. And we honor you. We honor you, God. We honor you, Jesus. And I plead your blood over this space and I bind and rebuke any demonic energy that would try to take a hold or interfere with the anointing or the flow of this message, the precision of this message. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would move according to the gifts that the Lord has given us. Okay. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hi, Collective. Okay. So, um, the message that I see here, and I was looking at this for a little bit because I was just really trying to figure it out. Um, it looks like this is prominently two feminine energies here that I'm going to be, so, so it looks like collective you have, like, this is you, um, male or female, you know, when you're coming out of the divine feminine energy, you are just standing in a, like a, a softer strength. But there is a water energy that is, you know, watching you very intensely. It does not have to be a woman and this doesn't have to be an empress. This could very well be an emperor. This could be, um, or, you know, this could both be male energies or it could be male and female. Just take it how the energy fits for you. But um, this person held back from you when they held, they were holding back from you for a time and it looks like you know things just were not as good as they thought that it would be holding back from you you know like um this person could have thought that holding back from you could really like open up a space for them to be a lot more overindulgent or you know like they could really have like unlimited options or opportunities like things would just be really good it would just be really good times and that just wasn't the case it just seems like life just was not quite the same as it was when before they were um you know before they wanted all of these unlimited options and and you know opportunities that they felt were going to come towards them. But um, so this is someone that is like in a position of power, like this person has a certain level of influence. They could be um, someone that has, you know, if they're not old, like if they're not older, like mature in age and carry a lot of wisdom, this could be someone who is younger, but they may have an old soul, like they have like a, um, like a very deep wisdom to them, you know, like an unspoken knowledge, or, or you know what I mean? But this is someone who is very much like action oriented in regards to what they do day to day. Or this is who they were to you in this time when they were holding back from you. And it's like, you know, this person is attributing holding back from you to disaster after disaster. Like, it just seems as though there's just been one thing after the other that's kind of just started to collapse around this person with the four horsemen. Um, for those who don't know, the four horsemen of the apocalypse, that's the sign of the, you know, that we're in the last days and that judgment is is coming. So it's the pale horse, the white horse, the red horse, and the black horse. Or is it the pale horse, the red horse, the black horse, the white horse? You guys know you have to read it. I, <laughs> you know what I mean? Details. <laughs> I don't know which order they're in, but I know that they're that's them, the four of them. And um, they, you know, they bring pestilence, they bring war, they bring death, they bring the Antichrist. So, you know, this person feels like 
there could be one of each one of these areas within this individual's life that are really have been challenged in regards to resources, in regards to the health um, and well-being of those around them or even themselves, um, you know, in regards to whether or not there was someone infiltrating and kind of like moving things around to create, you know, there's some, there's going to be some, some form of change that, you know, and this person is really kind of like focusing on this. They are typically used to things being a lot more balanced for them. And it's like, they feel like when they held back from you, they held back from their generational blessings. And, and you went on into a calmer place and you went towards peace, you know, like um, they thought that by allowing you to kind of, you know, let you go towards something or you, you know, like you going towards something that's a lot calmer it just kind of like brought a lot of endings on this end or on that or not my, not me collective. This is what this person is kind of like feeling. It's like um, this person feels like whoever this boss figure was, they feel like Whatever blessings were covering um, the connection, whatever blessings, you know, that you had between them or whatever this is, they feel like that's also something that just kind of went away as well. You know, like you knew right away that whatever conflict was going on, it just wasn't worth, it was just no longer worth fighting for. And you had something better in mind, something that would be a lot more peaceful, a lot more healing, bring a lot more calm energy towards you. This person feels like when you moved on and you let go, um, that's when their generation, you know, that's when the blessing in this kind of dissipated and moved away as well. And this is like a big time mystery for this person because that's not something they were expecting. This is not, you know... But it's like, you know, you took this leap of faith. You had to step out. You could have even like stepped out with nothing. You don't have to have had, but you could have like, you know, literally or figuratively, you could have left just about everything behind and really just, you know, turned your head up higher and just looked for towards something a lot better. And you knew that it was coming. You had this faith and this deep belief that there were blessings and there were things ahead that were coming towards you. It's like you knew that the divine was going to connect you in whatever type of partnership or union or what purpose you have in life, you knew that what you have for you is a commitment with unconditional love and shared values. You know, like it's not something that's dark and toxic. It's not something where you have to constantly, you know, there's a contrast between the dark and the light energy, or there's, you know, the relationship is being or leld, <laughs> held or led by like manipulation or unhealthy attachments. You know, like you don't want, you're not going to spend any amount of time, it, you know, like there's zero attraction to something where you feel like you have you're underneath some form of tormentor who is just very much anti-destiny. You know, that's just, and when you took this leap of faith and you walked away, seemingly, you know, taking like this naive risk or seemingly not fully knowing exactly like, um, you know, where it's taking you, where you're headed or what the process looks like getting there. This really not this, this person it could be up to two people. It doesn't have to be. This was a shock of a lifetime for this person. This really shocked them. And it's like, you know, the this person felt defeated, number one. They, had, they felt like by the time you had walked away, they already felt defeated. 
And it was because their intentions were so terrible. They wanted to figure out what it was that made you special. What was it that God had put on you at your birth? You know, what is your blessing? Like, what is this? What is the, the, the key to this? They were trying to figure this out when you turned and you walked away. And it's like they immediately felt defeated because you protected yourself. You could have did something where, you know, like you had to fight them off or, or there was something that you did where you're standing your ground. But they're really taken back by the level of stamina that you have. This could be really something that you've done that like really taken them by surprise. But at the, just regardless, you're protecting yourself. And that was the shock, you know? You stand in this very positive, like you stand in this very healthy um, emperor, empress energy. This is just like a regal kind of energy. Like you know how to allow things to naturally unfold. You are very patient and kind. You're well-tempered, you know, like you really have this balance within you. Yeah, but it's like because you receive messages, because you receive messages from the most high, because you have this, you know, the spirit of excellence within you, whatever plans this person had, whatever their plan was, Oh, the plan was not okay. So the plan was for everything to collapse in your life collective. This wasn't necessarily the plan for them. It seems like this is when they get this is what they're getting back because it's like they held from you so that you would be unhappy. They held back from you so that you would be unhappy and everything would just come tumbling down in your life. One series of events after another. And this is just because they could take this type of action because they have the authority to do this. But it's like instead rejecting you sent you, you know, like this catapulted you towards your destiny. It's both ways. Okay. So acknowledge what I said the first time. This is it. This person held back and this is what happened. Their blessing left when you left. And you defending yourself makes them territorial. Now let me go back. Your perspective. They rejected you and you said no problem. It catapulted you towards a, a greater discovery of your generational blessings. The blessings that you have, like these are spiritual blessings, generational blessings. This is blessings of health, wealth, financial literacy. Like this is, you know, like this is so much. And you completely ended out whatever it was. There was just absolutely no movement, no activity. And this has become a massive mystery to whoever this person is because it's like it was reversed back on them their intentions and what they wanted the plans that they had for you collective it's like the pit that they dug for you was actually the pit that they ended up in they weren't expecting you to take this action they were expecting you to sit back and watch and let them devise sneaky plans to make everything come down in your life. But it's like you didn't, you're not going to have anything to do with the toxic connection. You know that, you know that God has something a lot better for you. Yeah, so you defended yourself and you were also aware that they were after your gifts your spiritual gifts or whatever the case is. 
And it's like, you have this awareness because God gives you signs. He, you know, like once you go into a space of prayer and worship and you are seeking answers, God reveals mysteries to you. This is what broke up and disrupted this, you know, like whatever this person's focus was to try and make you feel left out and in lack or whatever the case is, your gifts, your blessings, your anointing, whatever it is, like the way that you are able to unravel mysteries and you are um, a blessing to other people, you're able to use your mind and you have this beautiful balance of loving kindness and intuition. You have like an immediate understanding of things, people, places, and things. And this is just based on um, like feeling and an inner knowing. And this person is sitting back and watching this and they are pissed. They are really pissed. This person's a big time hater. <laughs> like weirdo. Because they feel like what uh, this person wanted you to be alone. They wanted you to feel lonely. They wanted you to feel used. They wanted you to feel lack. They wanted you to feel all of these things, but it's like they wanted to put a certain level of judgment on you that cannot be placed on you. And then, uh, you know, they also feel like, how is it that you have all of this? You should have financial troubles. You should have this or you should have that going on because you're not doing things to, you know, like to get money. Like you're not doing some type of sexual something. Yeah, Sodom and Gomorrah in the reverse. Yeah, it's like they're super mad that you're not having all of these financial troubles and you're not in a dangerous situation, you know, like this is a terrible person because they, you know, they're super mad that you're not into any type of like sexual moralities and like all types of craziness and stuff, which I'm sure they are. I mean, like. And they're super mad that you're financially independent and that you have this, you know, very free spirit in this wealthy energy. You have this very much accomplished way about you. And this just makes this person feel very much the opposite. <laughs> yeah, they're just mad. Like they're mad that you're always, you know abundant, like you never lack fresh oil. You just continue to develop. You continue to increase. You continue to stand in your autonomy. You continue to move towards your purpose. It's like you still have whatever possessions this person could be, you know, watching or whatever. This person is not saying anything about this right now. And um, they feel like you know this too, and you're not saying anything, but this person is like really trying to gain some level of wisdom and insight because they're in a lot of fear and anxiety about changes that are going to happen with them at their job. And they feel like they're stuck there. Like they feel that their hands are tied, like they're literally stuck and basically imprisoned in whatever it is that they do, but now they're praying and resting and asking to seek answers because they feel like they've wasted their time and they invested in the wrong things. Whatever they were growing, whatever they felt like, you know, was going to slowly come back as like a greater investment or something like that. They're learning that they really invested in a lot of illusions and now they're going to reap what they sowed. 
this is, you know, like this person didn't consider the rewards or, you know, any type of loss, like profit or loss. Like they were not considering the long term or, you know, the outcomes of the long term with whatever it is that they were investing in. And now they're they're saying they can't get back the time that they lost. And this has been sitting here on the bottom of the deck the whole time. Short-term pleasure for long-term suffering. And this person's trying to hold on to what's important now. Um, they might be holding back. But they're just trying to hold on to what's valuable for them now because they feel like a fool. They feel like there was great potential for a new opportunity, but they were trusting in some type of naive action and they ran forward. This has a lot to do with who you are and, you know, the type like the generational wealth and the blessings and the abundance. Hmm. This really could be someone that you celebrated with, like, um, yeah, they're mad. They are mad about your blessings. They're mad that you like to give. You never take, you don't have to borrow, you know, like this is something like you, this was a connection, a relationship, or this was some type of teamwork or partner partnership, but you spent a certain amount of time building with this person. And there was, you know, like a mutual attraction and harmony. Things were balanced at one time. Like you did celebrate with this person at one, one point. Think there was harmony. But this person was like a pharaoh in your life. They wanted to kill off what you were creating and what you were birthing. And now they sit in regret for being in this pharaohic energy against you and not wanting to let you go or let you be free. Now they're holding back because they've been getting warnings and messages from the angels. But yeah, you know, like they're praying now because... They can't get back what they invested in and they invested in all the wrong things. They're, you know, like they did a lot of hard work in this and now they're like, okay, yeah, the hard work, it did pay off because it's a whole mess now. This person could want to come back and reconcile. They're really kind of like having ideas. They're thinking of, you know, ways to kind of create peace how to like naturally flow into like a peace or a relationship where there's like some type of cooperation or they can get you to a space of cooperation. Here, let me close that. Or this person could want to come back because, you know, like, to balance the scales or this is them wanting to, I don't know. It's like you have this, um, you care for others to a way, to a point where you can help them nurture their finances. But you know, like you are, sometimes you focus more on, yeah, it's at a fault sometimes. This person could know that. They could know that you could lose sight of your own needs or your goals because you're focused, like you can really focus on someone else or another person. Yeah, you see this person for exactly who they are, though. And, you know, in the past, like whenever, whatever this was, you stood your ground, you saw the truth, you saw very, very clearly through any of the smoke and mirrors, you saw through any of the dark, and you were, you had to face your fears and face the, whatever barriers were standing in your way from really, you know, getting to where you needed to go.
it's like after this person rejected you and, and you moved on to a calmer place, that's when they started to gain more clarity and understanding. That's when they were really being guided to, you know, stand brave and to really focus and kind of like slow down a little bit and have a little bit more patience to really kind of see what just happened. And this person really is caught up in feeling as though, you know, you're going to step into some type of great partnership or some type of divine union because of the level of commitment that you have, you know, like the romance that you carry, whatever it is, your little level of attraction, this way that you have of, you know, being very um, selfless in, in regards to like being there or helping others. And now that you have protect, protected yourself, you could have taken this person by surprise with something. Um, they want a rebirth or this is you. You took this person by surprise with this um, rebirth that you had. The way that you were able to, you know, just come back to life again after a time or a period of stagnancy or there was just no activity or movement in something that you were doing or even within yourself. But it's like when you reawakened, you came, I mean, it. <laughs> you woke up quick. It happened fast. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, you know, this person feels like it's because of your gifts, all of your spiritual gifts, it's because of who you are, your intellect, your, um, you know, your celibacy, or you being chased and abstaining from certain things. Um, what is this? Will you clarify, please? Let me please please You might not really even feel like it's your chosen path to be um to be celibate, like so the difference between celibacy and abstinence, celibacy is like a vow where you're not going to, you know ever engage, I, I guess. And then abstinence is when you are abstaining from certain things. So just take it however it fits for you. But you might feel like it's not a part of your chosen path to stay um, single. Like it's not a part of your chosen path to stay alone or to stay in a state of um, whether you have vowed to celibacy or if it's you're just abstaining right now. You could really feel like, you know, the type of person that you are, you do carry all four kings or queens in your energy. So there is that, you know, like you are very balanced in regard to, you know, the level of passion or attraction that you carry. And you're also balanced in the level of emotion and love in giving and receiving love, you know, like, um, so yeah, I got chosen path in the reverse chase and, and gypsy here. I'll show you. <laughs> Okay, chosen path, chase, and gypsy. And then you see how she's like a little like, hmm. Huh. Yeah, so you might feel like it's not um, necessarily your chosen path. You could just be choosing to abstain from certain things right now. You know? Um, but yeah, just take that however... And, you know, like with this energy, um, this is someone with this gypsy energy. This is someone that's very cultured. Like you understand a lot of different um, cultures. You understand loyalty, but you could be kind of like spending a lot of time in isolation right now. That could be something that you have come to, you know, the conclusion So, you know, like um, this water energy queen or, you know, queen of cups energy, this could be male or female. Um, they want to come towards you. 
They really want to come towards you and take action towards you. This could be for multiple things, but this looks like they want to come towards you to celebrate with you and have some level of excitement or romance to have like, um, you know, very blunt conversation. They want to make sure that something is not um, absolutely done, dead or gone. They want to make sure that something can be resurrected to a certain extent. This person could be feeling like... They feel really lost. Like this person feels very, very bad about their previous energy that they were in. They don't really understand how they even got into that headspace. Yeah. This could have been done like open and like publicly, but it's like you are publicly like, like, you know, at the same time you were seen to have, you know, the support and this assistance, like this public aid or something like, like it was seen that, you know, you have support, you have people supporting you that are going to protect you. And it goes a whole lot deeper than this person thought. This goes like a lot deeper than this person thought. And this is like tormenting this person. So yeah, they may not be saying anything, but they've been like in a space um, of recovery. They want to gather their things and like run away from whatever... Whatever happened, what is this? Oh, I think some of these are in the reverse, but either way, it came out in the reverse. So it's like this person feels like they can't pray their way out of this. Oh, there's another one. They really feel like this is going to cause some type of blockage for them in their spirit, like when in their spirit quest or journey, because they listen to toxic people around them. It's like this person thought that you were someone that was really trying to, I don't know, lure them into their demise or something. Yeah, it's like um, they could really feel like toxic people lied to them and falsified some things and really like said that you chose a path of, you know, like appearing to be kind or innocent or something like that. And it was a lot more sinister or something, you know, like down those lines, but something was like seriously falsified. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person wants to reconcile. It's like, you know, they see you as being very wealthy and abundant and they feel like they took a risk. They thought that they thought that risking you and the level of value that you carry could actually turn in their favor and they could bring, you know, in something of even greater value. But it's like the risk that they took just ended the connection it ended whatever the divine had brought and put together it ended you know like these shared values and this unconditional love it ended the romance the attraction the the level of commitment or faithfulness or whatever like you feel you know like the way that you feel or and how they view you they view you as looking at this as like there's nothing here and this person really wants some type of reunion with you they feel like there's a way for, um, there's a possible way for you guys to come back together after a time. 
Yeah, this person feels like they went through a dark night of the soul because of them being in a compromised state, whether they were um, drinking, whether they were just full of like ego and power. But regardless of what it, whatever it was that had them, you know, feeling themselves the way that they were, it, it really showed this person that, you know, they were affecting their future generations. They're affecting what, you know, not necessarily affecting their future generations, but what I mean to say is what they can contribute to the next generation, you know, like as far as legacy is concerned, as far as making a mark on this earth, as far as, you know, really stepping out and doing something selfless and thinking about those, those generations to come, like planning for your children's children's children type of thing. And this person feels like they have been left out, you know, and they really kind of felt um, lonely and alone and isolated when they realized that they were going through like a dark night of the soul because of their level of, you know, drinking or being compromised. And they see you as like, you know, like this, this affected their power source. And these memories won't stop popping back up in this person's head because they feel like they left this unresolved. They left this unhealed. And then it just really like it messes this person up also to also know that they were given a glimpse of what this would be like. It's almost like they knew in their mind that if they caused some type of conflict with you, that it could necessarily turn back around on them and they would be the ones standing and defending their position, you know, like it's a life or death kind of thing. This person sees this as a catastrophe. Yeah. This person might want to make a confession. They could feel like they came between a relationship. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. They feel like they really kind of like they were trying to keep you stuck. They didn't want you to move forward or backwards. Yeah, how much this person, like this person feels like they're the martyr now. They see this as you walking away and taking away so many gifts with you, so many beautiful things, and they went one direction and you went in one direction, and now they feel like it's going to be punishment for them, and they're going to have to really explain themselves or defend why they took the stance that they did against you. And even the thought of this makes them feel like, they don't even understand how they could have done this. This makes this person feel way more than empty. This is like the sunken place. Look at this. Separate ways and ways. Separate ways. Oh, wait, I want you to see them all together. The martyr. Oh, transition. Person feels terrible. Lost. And then it's just like fade to black. Like, it just is a lot deeper than what anybody probably really knows within this person. This person is really going through a lot right now. I'm just like hearing all the stages of grief inside of my mind. Like, okay, denial when you guys separated, anger, bargaining, 
depression, acceptance. <sighs> yeah, they feel like you took everything and they're going to have to pay the consequences for really running you away, for running you off or for something that they did. They know that their actions are have brought in judgment for them. They are very, very, un they're very aware that, you know, there's definitely some type of spiritual consequences that are happening here based on this decision that they made. They had more than one choice. They could have went in multiple ways. They didn't have to do whatever it is that they did. And now they know that they're responsible. They're going to have to really like pay for this and they want forgiveness because retribution is here. Guide and chaos. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. somebody has been watching this and it's like, they see that you're innocent. Yeah. You'll be able to celebrate your innocence soon. Collective. I'll just say that. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. All right. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.